Welcome back to my channel. So on this video, I'm going to tell you about the time I worked at vitamin shop. <laughs> I worked at the vitamin shop for a total of a year and some change. I started in October and I just left them this past week. There is a lot of things that I really, really need to say. Uh, this is probably one of the worst companies I've ever worked for. Um, there's a lot of things that are wrong. I really don't want this video to be about me bashing this company, but I want to be able to say everything that needs to be said. So I'm just gonna go for it. So I started working for them back in October. I left my Starbucks job that I had been in for three years and I went ahead and got this job. This was a very, uh, I was very excited about getting this job because I actually was getting a promotion in a sense. I had been trying to get promoted within Starbucks for three years and it was just not going what I, it just wasn't going where I wanted to go and then I had a horrible experience. Anyways, moving on. So I was going to be hired as an ASM. Super, super excited about this. I started the job. The job was great when I first started off. I was very excited because I was gonna be doing retail. I really did like retail when I did Sam's Club. I figured it was gonna be the same thing and I was just really excited. The manager I had that I started with, he was great. He was one of the best managers I've ever worked for. Very considerate, very sweet, very pa uh, patient. He taught me, you know, at my own pace. He was very empowering to me. He let me take over the store. He really let me own my position. He gave me a lot of confidence that I needed to take on this new role and to really see myself in a management in a manager position uh, as a lead, as a store manager. He was just really great. The training process is a lot. You start off with, mo they give you a lot of different modules and things that you need to learn because essentially you're learning about vitamins, minerals, you're learning, a lot, you're learning about a lot of different things because the whole focus of Vitamin Shop is to help customers live their best life. The training is very extensive. It's not as great when it comes to giving you really in-depth knowledge. Or like for instance, for herbs, there's really no section that tells you just how deep herbs are. Every herb has like five different names that it goes by. Uh, they're all used for multiple different purposes. I mean, it's crazy. There's really no in-depth knowledge of this that they give you you just kind of have to really want to have that knowledge want to have to learn that stuff for yourself and thankfully me i did so i excelled really well because i just read a lot i knew a little bit going in and so i just did very well it's a lot to learn it's a lot to know the lingos and then essentially what you're going to have to do is answer a lot of questions that's not uh, you may not be comfortable with because you're not really familiar with a lot of things still in the store. For me, it took about six months for me to be really comfortable. Uh, I did a lot of things to help me get comfortable with the store, like doing inventory because that's another thing that's scary. A lot of customers come in and they're just like, all right, where's Habiglum? And you're like, um, uh, if I could offer any advice for somebody who is currently working and is not sure, who just started, I, it, See, I can't even say that because the sections are even messed up too. Something that should be in the herb section sometimes is in heart health if it's good for your heart. But at the same time, it's still an herb. So it's those things that kind of confuse you a bit when you're trying to find things. Like for instance, kava kava is supposed to be used for stress and anxiety. So it's in the stress and anxiety, sec it's an energy and stress section, but it's also an herb. So it's, it's tricky, but I did inventory and inventory was the best way that I started to learn my store. So moving on, the they have da they have something called a daily dose, which is essentially a everyday paper that you get that has new knowledge on it. It tells you about companies, tells you about a new product that's coming out. That's also really helpful with trying to give you that knowledge that you need to help customers. And they also tell you a lot of things about just 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 normal things, you know, like. Do you know how much vitamins and minerals are packed in, in spinach and a cup of spinach and just little things like that. And it's it's fun. I loved, I learned so much. I loved being there the 11 months that I was there. I will say that it's not very good at giving you progressive information. What I mean by that is if there's a lot of trends that are happening, the company's not really good at being very quick to give you those things. There's a lot of people that come up to me and they're like, you don't know about Casablanca da? 
that just came out what are you talking about it's like all the rave like, <laughs> you know like a new diet that just hits the market that's something that i will know about until a customer comes up to me there's things like that where i'm like in the loss like i'm not in the know and i'm just like oh i'm sorry i didn't i didn't know about that or then knowing how many non-calorie sweeteners there are which by the way there's a lot so the job itself is pretty awesome when it comes to just knowing those different things getting to how they are as a company they are very unorganized they don't communicate well they were expecting us to do certain things and only giving us two weeks to do it when normally you should at least give someone like a month in advance there was something there was a new project that they had just released where they wanted all of our all of the managers to hire nine people in two weeks because they wanted this project to get done that project still <laughs> That project still is going on and that was something that was supposed to be done like two months three months ago and it was so poorly given to us that the store managers did not have enough time to staff the stores then we all had to go and help these stores and it was just very jumbled and chaotic and most people that were normally working you know 25 to 30 were working 40 hours plus I was you know working 40 hours plus and then they were doing, you know, they, they weren't, then getting overtime was also not a thing, but they wanted us to help staff stores. And so it was just very chaotic and it just wasn't handled very well at all. They just didn't tell us enough quick enough. No one had enough time to do anything. So all these stores were being, these stores were being made and done and then didn't, nobody hired nobody hired it took forever for them to hire and they're still looking for people now they're forcing their senior people to go to these stores and that's unfair too because if i'm used to being at my store i'm here for a reason it's probably closest to my job now you have me going way out of my way to work at a store because by the way all these stores are very apart from each other vitamin shop is very Every store is very spread out. It's not like a Starbucks or a Dunkin' Donuts or a 7-Eleven where, you know, you're there. No, <laughs> this is very, we're all stretched. It's all stretched out. That's a lot of, you know, wear and tear on the car. And a lot of people don't like to travel that far for their job. I am one of them. So there are benefits. <laughs> so discount is pretty cool, right? You start off with, you get 40% for their brands, which that's a pretty good discount. Now you get 20% off of their third party brands, which to be honest is not that great especially because vitamin shop is very highly priced and i feel like we should have gotten a better discount for that we get medical insurance but the medical insurance is extremely high i was paying 185 dollars every two weeks and my medical insurance was crap like crap i had to go even higher just to not just to get something decent but 185 dollars every two weeks which is detrimental to me you know to anybody because you're already paying taxes and a shitload of other stuff so that hits your bottom line as well so the benefits really weren't that great they did have this one thing called expert they do have this one thing called expert voice which is pretty cool actually it's a website where you can like little like take little quizzes and tests you pass the test and then you get free products from the company so you get to try out their products that is really cool the prices in vitamin shop are extremely high now i understand why they're high it's because they're a small lot store so they have to price their stuff high in order to get their money back they're not a huge warehouse so they don't buy a lot and so that is why their prices are so high i get it totally get it now the problem is is that i was working in a predominantly poor area and every single day if i had a dollar for how many times somebody tried to hit me up for a discount i could retire they don't do a very good job at being progressive about where they are in their area like for instance when i worked for starbucks starbucks would charge based on the area you're at so for instance a coffee in my area would be 198 but a coffee up in a richer area would be like 298 or 209 just those little differences that people of course don't notice because they're not living you know they're not traveling vitamin shop doesn't do that it's the same price every single where every single location and so it's really hard for you to turn a profit when you're in a poor area and your prices are extremely high and i was also in an area where there's students around and most students were just getting energy drinks and walking out the door they were not spending good money at all and so it was hard for us to turn a profit and our sales were constantly an issue that i constantly had to be stressed about and then they also pushed us to do selling 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 sales 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 because we were in that detriment it was it was getting really really 
concerning. <laughs> so advertisement. Their company is horrible at advertising, marketing. They don't do any advertisement for their companies whatsoever, their stores. And so because of it, a lot of our stores are dead dead our stores are so dead it is extremely boring if you want a job where you're just sitting there and you're just waiting for a customer that's your job it is extremely extremely slow because they don't do any advertisement they don't do any sort of at marketing nothing the most that they did while i was there was they did like iheart radio and that was it <laughs> there is no other marketing or advertising that goes into it they leave it up to us but they don't give us the hours to do it it's called grassroots and so it'll go it'll be little events that we go to to try and boost our business but we don't even get the hours for it so we don't have the resources nor the hours to spend and then, of course, everything that you, any new inventive ideas that you want to do, you have to run by one person who talks to another person who talks to another person who talks to a team who talks to the CEO. It's just, it's a hot mess. The only social media access that they give us is Instagram. And that's it. Where we could just do so much more and fun and inventive ideas if we were on TikTok, if we were on Facebook, if we were on Snapchat. Like, there's just, there's so many things that we could have done if we were given that creative power but we weren't. And so the company is just constantly struggling because we don't do advertisement. It's horrible. Here's the big reason why I left Vitamin Shop on top of everything else. I didn't see a future with the company. The company is, like I said before, very unorganized. Fucker. <clears throat> Anyways. The company is very unorganized and I just didn't see them surviving because they just don't do anything to really help their business. They kind of leave it up to all of us, but they don't give us the hours nor the media to really do what we need to do to run our business. Also, there was just a lot of promises that were given that were never delivered. Um, one of the biggest reasons why I will leave a company is if they do not give me a chance to grow. And I have a lot of ambition, I have a lot of passion. I'm a very smart individual. I, I aim to succeed in life. I aim to make an impact. That is what I want in life. It's just to make an impact wherever I am, whatever I do. I believe that I can do anything <laughs> I put my mind to. I believe that I can learn anything. That is something that I think everyone should put in their mind, that you can do anything. Nobody should limit you. I was passed over for a position that I truly believed I deserved. I believe that I had did the work, but I believed that they were looked over me and they gave the position to somebody who was with the company longer and somebody who also in their eyes was doing things better than what my current store manager had been doing. My current store manager had been there for 15 years. And so there were a lot of people who were not crazy with the way that he ran his store. And it was very easy to see that they were treating me as if I was tainted by him. But they kept trying to tell me that I that it, they, did, they, they didn't think that and they saw good things for me. And they really wanted me to be an asset to the company and blah, 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 blah. Everything that corporate America says. <laughs> my store manager, my current store manager, not current, I'm sorry. My store manager had given in his two weeks. And I was okay. I was like, okay, all right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and try and just interview for the position. Maybe who knows? Who knows? So I had interviewed for the position. First of all, it was a phone conversation. It was not an interview where he actually came to see me. It was an interview he did over the phone. And then I waited for a week. Finally, within three days before my store manager, store manager's last day, was coming, he told me that he decided to give the position to somebody else. He never really explained the reasons why. The only thing that he really said was that he, feeled, he felt like I wasn't ready, but made a comment to say that it was because he felt like I was not trained well enough. How could I have not been trained well enough by somebody who's been with the company for 15 years? <laughs> like, number one. Number two, uh, it just wasn't in depth enough for me. And if you're gonna tell me that I'm not ready, that I am not where I need to be to get this promotion, you need to tell me in detail why and what I can do and what steps you're gonna take to be part of that to help me get where I need to be. Because then they do this thing to you where they tell you, no, we don't think you're ready, um, but we're gonna sit on it for a bit. And then sitting ends up being one year, two year, three years, and you're still sitting there waiting for a promotion. I was, I was very 
very, very nice and cordial. I said, okay, sure, all right. I did let him know that I was disappointed because I felt like I was ready. I felt like I had everything that somebody would look for in a leader. Maybe I was overconfident, whatever. You have to be. Fake it till you make it, right? I was very nice, the new manager who came. It had been somebody that had been with the company, like I said, for a very long time. I had knew of him, I had worked with him once. And I'm gonna be very honest, I'm trying to find a nice way to say this. He just doesn't, the person, the candidate that was chosen over me, not somebody that I feel is ready to be in a leadership position. And when you pick someone over somebody else, you have to really explain what your per, what your reason was for. Because you already know, or you should know from the jump, that this person is gonna look at this other person and go, what did they have that I don't? That's essentially what I did. I tried really hard to figure out why him not me and he criticized every single thing that i did i asked questions because i was trying to understand how he wanted his store to be run so i could blend how i do things to him within following policies regulations whatever i always blend to my store manager how do you want things to be run how would you like me to handle this i usually do it this way how would you like me to do it? I feel like these are questions that are gonna help me to have a better connection with my manager because I know how they want things to be done. So about a month and a half had gone and it was very, very, very tense. Very tense. I did not feel comfortable at all at the store. He took everything from me, everything that I was doing, he took from me inventory. He didn't involve me in interviewing or hiring. Uh, he didn't involve me in meetings, nothing. I was completely pushed in the corner and I just kind of just, I was like, okay, whatever. I guess this is how it's gonna be. Finally, he had brought me to the back of the room, handed me a paper that had my job description on it. And he said, so I'm I'm looking to demote you uh, cause I don't feel that you've been doing your job. I feel like your performance has been very subpar I don't really feel, I'm trying to, to get it to where I can do the store by myself. I don't feel like I need an ASM, assistant store manager. And so, yeah, but you know, I, I'm not I'm not gonna give up on you. Uh, I, I gave you that because I want you to highlight the things that you're good at and um, highlight the things that you think that you could use some work on. And then I'm going to send you over to another store uh, so that you can train with that manager. And basically we'll see where you are in February. And if you've, if you've proven yourself, uh, then we'll discuss where you are February. <sighs> so I smiled and I nodded and I kind of gave the, yeah, I saw this coming face. Cause I did. Uh, I took the paper from him and then I left early, which when I say early, I mean I left like maybe 15 minutes before I was supposed to leave. I drove home the entire time crying hard. Like I cried so hard, it's a miracle I didn't crash my car. I could barely see, that's how hard I was crying. And then I parked my car, I cried in my car again. <laughs> I stood in my car for about three hours, just asking God or whoever is listening, fuck, what did I fucking do? Like, why? Shit. And like, I was upset with myself because I was like, fuck, man, I saw this coming. Like I did, I really did. I knew it, I knew, I knew it. And then I just, I just kept racing. Where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? What, I can't afford, you know? No one can afford to just lose, to just lose a promotion or a job. Like I wasn't in the position where that would have been okay. I decided that I was done. <laughs> That's it. Why was I gonna wanna be in a company that one, totally underestimated me, my abilities, everything, and didn't give me a fair shot and was allowing this new manager who had only been there for a month to demote me based on nothing because he had no paperwork. He brought me nothing. He had never written me up for anything just out of nowhere, a whole month of being with me. I'm just trying to demote you. Like, why, why, why would I? So I called, and I'm sorry, I should have mentioned, I did speak to my district manager twice, sometimes three times. He knew, he was very aware of how I felt. 
He was very aware that I was trying very hard to communicate with this person. He told me he felt the problem was communicating. And I said, yeah, I, I think so too. He's not really good at communicating. He doesn't tell me anything. When I had finished speaking to my district manager, that conversation was going to was about us not communicating and the next time I spoke to my store manager it was going to be okay we're going to sit down a time we're going to communicate with each other instead it was him bringing me to the back telling me I don't need you so at that point I was very frustrated because I literally had utilized everybody I could have and nobody was helping me I finally went up to HR I spoke to the HR lady and the HR lady gave me the same excuse that my district manager did. We, I think it's just communication. Um, you know, he's a new manager, so you gotta give him some wiggle room. Um, you know, you don't wanna judge too quickly. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Cause he kinda judged me pretty quickly, but okay. And they both pretty much defended every single thing that I said. They had an excuse or a reason for every single issue that I had kept saying it was a communication issue and just kept telling me to get in there stick it out and then the last thing that she said was well I think you guys should all have a sit down so we're gonna have your district and your store manager sit down and and would you be okay with that and I was like you know sure why not knowing fully well that this was not going to end the way I wanted it to that it wasn't gonna make a difference because they both clearly were on his side. There was nothing I could do. And so I did the, I did what I thought I could do. I went as high as I could. Talking to corporate I don't think would have made a difference because nobody was listening to me. Nobody for a fucking second thought, hmm, that doesn't seem right. We've never had a complaint about this woman. And all of a sudden this guy's been here for a month and he's saying that she's worthy, she deserves to be demoted? Based on what? <laughs> and so, moving along, I looked for a new job. That was my experience working at the vitamin job. I would love to hear any of your stories. If you are a former employee, current employee, talk to me. I always will encourage people to do what's best for them. If you are happy working there, please stay there. Do what makes you happy. But as far as me, my journey, and how my experience was, it's not something that I would personally recommend someone, what I would recommend a person to do or go. You know what I mean? So with that, I will end this video, of course, by thanking all of you for watching my video. All my comments, my likes, all the support that I've had so far has been wonderful. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.